Well, this week, an event in the Low Country is celebrating the African American Caribbean arts. For more on Moja Arts, Charleston Singleton joining us now in studio. And Charleston, we were just talking. Moja Arts Festival is a huge deal. It is very but huge. Your part in this is really. This is an event in the making with a group that we have gotten to know very well over the last couple of years. That's right. The Low Country um, Voices, of course. That's right. Uh, Nate Nelson, who uh, directs the Low Country Voices, he and I uh, finally are teaming up to do uh, a very significant presentation. Um, back uh, in uh, 1965 and in 1968 and then again in 1973, Duke Ellington uh, wrote and performed these series of concerts and it was all sacred music and yeah. they have been called the sacred concerts. It's a big hundred piece choir that he has with his group and uh, the work is pretty monumental. Now people have been doing like highlights in mm -hmm. of them because it's so big, you know, and you know, as long as Nate and I have known each other and chatting, you know, and stuff, we've always said we should do that, you know, because he's got the great group with the you know low country voices and uh, you know, I've put bands together and everything. Who well, made it happen? Um we it was by chance. We we had been talking about it, like I said, for about I don't know, about four or five years or so. And um uh at the anniversary of the uh Emmanuel uh, AME Church uh, mm -hmm. tragedy. Um, we just we bumped into each other. They had just finished doing a, a set of music with uh, the great gospel uh, vocalist Shirley Caesar, um, and I was getting ready to play some just sort of background music. And so the two of us were talking before we started, and uh, uh, Mayor Tecklenburg came in from this way, and uh, Mr. Scott Watson, who is the you know director of the Office of Cultural Affairs, came from from this way, and we all were kind of just sitting there talking and chatting. And I introduced you know Mayor Tecklenburg to yeah. Nate, and I said, you know what, we were talking about you know how you need to you know make, pulse, this, happen. make this happen, you know, and everything. And actually, we really weren't. <laughs> But he just, you know, Mayor Tecklenburg, who's a jazz lover and music lover and oh, loves yeah. the arts, you know, it's clear. He said, hmm, let's get on that. Let's talk about that. Fast forward to about three or four months ago, and uh, Scott Watson uh, said, well, what do you guys think about doing that during Moja? And I said, that's perfect. Perfect. That's perfect. So, so when's it going to happen? It is going to be on next Friday, October 6th. It is going to be at the Gilliard Center. You can go to uh, the Moja Arts Festival uh, website, which is mojafestival.com, or you can go to the Gilliard uh, Center's website, gilliardcenter.com, and you can scroll down and look for the date. You can pick out some great seats. We're trying to fill this up. Gonna we're going to have awesome. we're going to have that awesome. whole stage with. A hundred piece choir, a 16, 17, uh, 16 piece uh, jazz band. You know, this is, uh, you know, ecumenical. This is great. It, it, the, the whole, the whole low country needs to be on, in on you this. You hear the passion in his voice. It's going to be that good. It is going to be that good. itself runs through October 8th. Charlton, thanks for coming in. Of man. course. Great seeing you. Always, always good seeing you.